everybody and welcome to Malta. Malta. Eh? Perth may have pictures of like quokkas and kangaroos and stuff and emus, but Malta has little giant, giant, weird looking fish that are real. That's definitely yours because it's covered in stickers. They keep setting off, I think they're fireworks. They look like gunpowder in the air, that scared the shit out of us, but it's like we thought they're, fi they're fireworks, but it's mid a midday it's salute. <laughs> like, Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, Parked up, ready and waiting because we're about to get on a ferry. It feels very Isle of Wight. Yeah, in a way. it does. Last time I was coming up for a ferry was to go, to go to the Isle of Wight, the but this time we're going to the island called Gozo, the Aldish in Maltese. We might have to wait for the next one. But apparently they come every like, what, half an hour? Half an hour. So, shouldn't be too bad. We're on a holiday. Time we're in nothing. no rush. We're in no rush. It's a bit different to the Isle of Wight oh, ferry, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot hotter for one. Lads are ready. <laughs> Bring up the anchor. You probably can't hear me because it's got it's a slight breeze. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. But yeah, we're heading off to that island over there, I think. We're not going too far. But obviously you've got to use a ferry to cross there. But um, to Gozo we go. They're also different to um, Isle of Wight. The sea is like a turquoisey blue colour. Yeah. And it looks a lot warmer than um, <laughs> <laughs> than the uh, the sea I mean, at Southampton. Babe, you've hardly touched your ferry coffee. Do you not want it? I dare you to drink it. No. <laughs> that, it's probably still boiling. This guy's got the right idea. Takes the anchor off and then just goes back to the shade. Hang about. He's watching Joe Sub vlog. Imagine if he was. But we're off. Yeah. Come on, Rose. Uh, Jack's down there waiting for you. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> He's waiting for his Rose. Go on. Dot, we're arriving. Last chance. Do you want that coffee or not? Oh, go on then. I'll sure. Go. Yeah. <laughs> cool, we're absolutely flying into this port. Look. The boys are on it. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. The front goes up. What in the Transformers is this? And we have arrived at our destination. Hello vlog, you join us in the island of Gozo in Malta. Um, we're walking in the midday sun, which apparently is not advisable. Yeah. Do we have water? Yeah. Oh, we have got water, that's good. Um, we're going for a walk. Uh, we're staying at this retreat, as I would have, you would have seen in the earlier clips. I've not actually shown any footage at all of the first two days of this trip because um, it's like a wellness retreat, so I wanted to kind of like properly have a few days of detoxing. Um, I've hardly been on my phone, to be honest. I've sent like one and a half emails. I say a half because it's just sat in my draft, not sent yet. Um, and I've just really sort of unwinded. I've been I've been fully immersing myself. Thanks, down to the gecko. Gecko. <laughs> Every time I see him, I do the gecko. I swear geckos aren't dangerous. I'm sure they're fine. I don't think they're there's dangerous. Another, there's another one, look. Oh, sorry. It's a tiny one. As you can see, the streets are all very quiet. We're walking through these streets now, which are all lit up at night because they do this um, this thing where they... I think that one, that's tomorrow night. That's where they're gonna put the statue tomorrow night, apparently, they're gonna put a statue up there. Because each town over here takes it in turns to throw like a summer celebration or each village or whatever. So that's been really interesting and fun. Uh, but we've just, we've been doing like um, treatments, like massages and stuff and just sort of lounging by the pool. I've nearly finished my book. We're heading to this village, which I'll show you. And then after that, we're going to a place called Victoria, which is like the, the main city on this island of Gozo, because the island we're on, as we've seen from the early clips, we had to get a ferry to get across here. Um, and then we're going to get on one of those, like, uh, we have in the UK, the hop on, hop off buses that take you around the island. And obviously you can just hop on and hop off whenever you want. So we're going to get on one of those and just adventure around the island and see where we end up. Hopefully visit a few beaches. Hopefully bump into Ollie White and make him eat one of these. If you know, you know. What a throwback that is. Ollie would have an absolute field day here. Look at that. Ollie. Go on, Ollie, you know you want to. Here we go, look. It's like, um, it's almost like a scene from a movie, isn't it? 
but they've got all these lights up. And obviously at night it looks amazing. So maybe we'll come in tonight and show you what it looks like. But it looks very festive, like quite weirdly. I know we're in July, but it looks quite Christmassy. I missed it. The bell was chiming, which as a hardcore gamer, was giving me a very slight Resident Evil 4 vibes. At least you know it's pretty safe around here. If that was left anywhere else in the UK, I think that'd be gone within 10 minutes, that bike. This island's actually smaller than Malta Island. But the amount of church they have like this, there's like four or five of these. It's way better than our village, right? That we used to have. We used to have like these things that look a bit like that, with the little cherubs and stuff on, but they're like organs that you play. Oh, remember all the pipes like coming off? Yeah, like a weird, I think it's like a very British thing. Like every like childhood fate thing we used to go to. There was always like an organ with loads of like pipes that would play the music and it would um just play songs all day i don't think anyone was playing it but they just played all these tunes and it would always look quite creepy like with like sort of statues and stuff on it usually like mermaids and things like that um if you also remember those from your childhood hit the like button the four people wondering outfit choice of today is uh this little number five five people Five people, sorry, and Diane. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch. Is it? Make really, like, I'd never have thought it, but I'm a big Abercrombie and Fitch fan. The stuff they make at the moment, I really, really like. And with the Fitch check of today, what are we going for, Diane? Uh, these are mango. What? Oh, the shorts? The shorts are mango. Nice. What, mango it's flavored? Mango flavored. Give me some of that. I got it when I was about 21 this shirt probably. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. God, old and school. And bathers. I thought you were going to get your bloody whoppers out there. No, my bathers oh. are actually from Australia. Oh. And shoes? Comfy shoes. Whoa! Oh, dog poo check. Done the fit pet check. Dog poo check. No dog poo. Nice. We're good to explore. Oh my God. That is what you need, Dot. That is so cool. That car. I'm going to take a picture so that that can go on. I want to do or just watch back this vlog. Yeah, it's bloody hell, finally. Oh my God! Right, now that she's arrived, bloody hell, she, she's like, can I go to the toilet first? And I'll tell you something, the driver was not happy. He was like, well, I'm going in three minutes, whether she's here or not. And I was thinking, okay, right, how's it gonna work with a refund? Um, oh, no. He was not happy at all. They told me they were like, run. I was like, okay, run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're on it, we're on our first ever. Hop on, hop on, hop on. Double decker, hop on, hop on. Oh, quick, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh. Uh, well, now we have no idea where we're going. We've got the little headbuds in, learning about the land. Can you hear it? Yeah. I'm getting Taylor Swift through mine. No, you're not. I am. Shake it up, shake it up. Wow. That's a big, big old building. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ta-da. I feel like driving through here would just not be the one. Look at that. Whoa. So close. So close. It's a bit scary, especially <laughs> when you're next to it. Yeah. Like here. Look, this truck's like out a bit. I'd be panicking. Oh my god, this house is quite nah, a Nah, we're, oh we're god, never getting through there. Feels a little bit sketchy going down here in this wind. Oh my word. <laughs> we didn't like that. <laughs> Diane honestly pooed herself the whole way down. I literally did a I was like, It's because it's so windy. It's like, it's because it's so windy. Going down that road, you generally think that you're about to like fall off the edge of the cliff. Look at the edge. No, 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 no. Go on. <laughs> Look over there, look at that wall. Oh, that's kind of cool.
good. <laughs> I think you might be stuck. <laughs> well, that was very fun and a good way to sort of see the city, I guess. We Whoa, Doc, Libby, how are you right? She doesn't know how to cross the road. She literally just walked out in front of her, in front of her car. I nearly got hit by a car. Missed by millimeters. And now I can't find her anywhere. Oh. That was like my granddad's MG. But it wasn't MG, it was a, something else. Found it. Right, and we have returned back to our little villa type building, which is right here. Which I've realized I've not shown you at all this place. I will do in the vlog a bit later on. Uh, for now I need a toilet, but this is the retreat we're staying in. I'll give you a full tour a bit later on, because right now, I need a toilet and food. Morning everyone, back in Gozo, uh, and it's Thursday today, which means the statue's finally up. They did say Thursday it would be up, and they were right, they don't mess around here. No. They're people of their word here in Malta, in Gozo. Uh, we came back from the... Um, Bus to open bus, bus top, up. had dinner. I've washed my hair, so it's a, a floating mess today. Yeah, it's so fluffy. Soft, yeah, I hate it. I hate it when it's like Did this. You not have it? Do you not have any um, sea salt? Se no, I don't, but we are surrounded by sea, so hopefully, hopefully at some point, I can, I can just dunk my, Hello. dunk my head into the sea and sort this barn it out. Uh, planted today, oh, it's great. Ooh. Look, grape vines with grapes on them. I did try one. Nah. There's loads know. of them. Look, all in here, through here, there. Then you've got your pipe. Oh, Ollie. Ollie's been at this one by the looks of it. That's definitely his teeth marks. I know an Ollie White tooth mark when I see one. That's definitely his gnashes. Yeah, look. Do you just fart? No, it's like it's in there. Where, was, where did that come from? <laughs> when we were doing the open top bus yesterday, we didn't want to get off. We just wanted to see as much of the island as possible, as I mentioned. but. We kept a note of all the places on the stops that we wanted to go and visit today. So this morning, before it gets too hot, we're going to walk to the Crafts Centre place, which looked quite nice. And then from there, um, I might have to come back and have a treatment. Is that like it's a bad thing? Uh, it's an aromatherapy massage. Um, and then also, I might have to really want to go to a place called Slend Slendy. Slendy. What do you reckon? I think I might get this, Doc. You're gonna get it? It's yeah. a nice one. I like, it suits me, right? Pocket head, yes. Yeah. Doc's got herself a new outfit. I really like that. It's beautiful. Maybe the top might be too small, though. Or sun champagne is lower. This is the best shop. Oh, no. Oh. This one? Go on, man. Bless you. What in the Kevin and Perry is going on? I've got myself a Malta bucket hat. And I'm also officially a terrible vlogger because I didn't really vlog anything from the uh, from the artisan market place. Um, but it's beautiful and Diane did vlog it. So if you want to go and see that, go and check out her channel. Oh, another one. Oh, what a little bird. Oh. If you don't want to see dead animals, look away now. I'm not going to zoom in, but there's a tiny little dead baby bird there. And that's the second one. No, don't pick it up. Oh, Diane's so hungry. She's probably looking at it going, mm, lunch. No. <laughs> that's the second second little baby bird on this walk that we've seen. I'm guessing they're just sort of in, because it's really windy. Because of the wind at the moment, we've had, and it's not normal apparently. Say, a lot of the locals are sort of saying that it's not normal for it to be this windy at this time of year. Um, so I think because it's been so windy, it's knocked a few baby birds out of their nests. Um, they're all tiny as well, like literally like fetuses. Um, so yeah, sad, sad, very sad, but we are walking back to our retreat um, in time for lunch. I'm really happy with this hat. Diane thinks it looks scoony. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the bucket hat is a good look? Or do you think it's probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life? Let me know. Oh look, no, Australia didn't... House. Oh yeah, that's the Australia yeah. House. The bells are going off. Resident Evil 4 vibes. But actually today, now that the sun's out, I don't get that vibe at all. It was only when it was overcast, it felt like that. I think this is what it's like to walk down the aisle from like yeah. a mile away, look. <laughs> if you get married in this country. Cool. I hope this bell playing is copyright free. There you go, stop.
I can see why they've got ear defenders on because it must be very loud up there. Never thought about that. Church bell ringers must always have to wear. Back in the old yeah. days, they'd all be deaf, surely. You know what I find so beautiful about this um, Gozo? The churches are literally gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, the churches here are really, really nice. So we're back now at the retreat, and this is like the sort of main area. So you've got all the rooms around here. Everyone currently, including Diane, is in a like a yoga class, like a meditational yoga class. Um, I went for a swim instead. My shorts are soaking wet, and I thought I'd miss out on this one. Um, but it also gives me time to chat to you lot uh, and show you the uh, where we're staying. Um, but it's uh, it's very nice, very peaceful. She cannot remember the last time I was on a holiday where I sat on a sun lounger with a bucket hat on, <laughs> reading a book. And I've actually managed to finish this book. Um, I started reading it a while ago. Started, stopped, started, stopped. But then um, on this holiday, I basically read the other half of it. It's Terry Pratchett, The Carpet People. I'm gonna go and dry my shorts off because later on, after dinner tonight, we're all heading to uh, a beach here in Gozo, um, which is a very famous beach, which I'll talk more about when, when we get there. But I need to dry my shorts beforehand because when I get there, I think we're all going for a sunset swim, which sounds amazing. I'm just hoping that the sea is not as cold as it was the other day, because when it's not midday sun, you don't drive as quick and uh, it could be a bit more chillier, especially with this wind, but hopefully uh, it's a lovely. Go on, Diane trying to get in a hammock. <laughs> well, you've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give you a little push? No, 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 no. Little push? I, no, because there's these dangerous things here. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to do a quick photo shoot. You look great. This is my thumbnail. Attempt two. Whoop, steady, Eddie. You got it. I hope there's no ticks in this. <laughs> or geckos. It feels like, you remember when we went to Poland? <laughs> yeah, it does. Actually. On the back of the yeah. I think we're nearly there. What can I say though? It's very bouncy in the back here. <laughs> Hold on tight. Whoa, whoa. That's a big drop. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually really high up. And this wall was the only thing protecting us. Oh wow. Well, we've arrived at Magar. <laughs> Look at this. We made it. We survived. <laughs> Unless he reverses over me now. But look at this view. Beautiful little beach. Yeah, I'm going to send the drone up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a view though, isn't it? Right, and just like that, we are actually back. Uh, I've taken my magnesium before bed, now before bed. It's been an hour now, so I should be passing out any minute now. So I want to try and end, actually end a vlog for once. Um, whatever this vlog is, I'm not sure. There might be a bit more to add to it, potentially, I don't know. Um, but that is the end of today's vlog. This is currently the, this is the bedroom. Did I do a, ever do a tour of this? No, we have to do, I did. do you know what? I'll do a tour in tomorrow's one. I'll do a quick tour. I'll do a quick whip around, a quick tour of the uh, accommodation. But I've got to tell you, this bedroom and this bed so comfy. is one of the comfiest beds I think I've ever had, had anywhere that I've design. stayed. Um, and it's like the decor in here as well is really nice and very cozy and just what I would love in a place like this. So um, yeah, gets a solid nine out of 10 from me. Mm -hmm.
which if you saw my ratings on the uh, Foo video, I don't. I very rarely give out nines, and I don't give out tens, to be honest. Except for you, you're a ten. You're a twenty. Uh, 